Hello and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to connect an API with bearer token authentication in Airtable using GitHub's API and also the data fetcher extension in Airtable. A bearer token is a secret text value that an API service uses to authorize users. You can think of it like a password for an API. So in order to begin, we need to generate a fine grained personal access token in GitHub. GitHub. If you already have a bearer token, you can skip this section. GitHub's fine-grained personal access tokens are bearer tokens that users can configure to access specific API endpoints and resources. So we're going to create one of these fine-grained personal access tokens now. So head over to your GitHub account. Over to the right-hand side, you'll see your little profile image, and we're wanting to click this settings option down here. Select settings. When this loads, we're we're going to go to the opposite side on the left and scroll down until you see developer settings right down here at the bottom. Select that and the following will open. Now again in the left hand side menu you will see personal access tokens. Open that and select fine grained tokens. Now when this page loads we want to select generate new token over to the right hand side. We're going to name the token profile info like so. Then for the description we're going to add returns the profile information for the authenticated user full stop. Then we're going to scroll down until we see this generate token button and we're going to click that. Then you want to copy and paste the token somewhere safe just by clicking this copy button or you can simply leave this tab open so that you can copy it when we use it in data fetcher. You can also regenerate a token if you forget to copy it here now. So now that we have this token copied and put in a safe place, we're going to head back to our Airtable base. Now it's time to add the data fetcher extension. So over to the right hand side, we have this extensions option, open that up, select add an extension. Then we're going to search for the data fetcher extension in the search input box in the right hand corner. Just like so, that will pop up. We can select add, select add extension. Now we can either create a free data fetcher account or we can simply continue with Google. Now it's time to import our data. So select create your first request. Under application, select custom. Now for method, we want for this to be selected as get. Then under URL, we want to input the following. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash API dot GitHub dot com forward slash user. So you can copy this over from our blog if that makes it a little bit easier. We have a blog on this exact topic on our datafetcher.com blog and so that you can learn this way as well and you can copy over any information to make this a little bit easier during this tutorial. So once you have done that, we're going to select the authorization tab underneath and for the type, we're going to select bearer token. Then for the token, it's time to copy and paste your fine grained personal access token into this token field. So if you're not using GitHub, check your chosen API's documentation to find your bearer token. Once you have that pasted in, we're going to head over to the headers tab, just next in these tab options, select add, then for the header, we want to add user dash agent, just like so. And for the value, we're going to add data fetcher. So it should now look like this. GitHub requires this header to identify who is making the request. So if you're not using the GitHub API, check your API's documentation to see what headers, if any, you need to add. Now we want to add a title to this request. So we're going to retitle this as fetch GitHub profile data like so, and then we can select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. Now we'll arrive to the response field mapping screen. And this is where we can decide exactly which fields we would like to import from the response data into our Airtable field. So as you can see, 10 fields have been selected. So we're going to select the deselect all button up here in the top right hand corner to turn all of those fields off. Then we're going to turn the login field on and we're going to map this to an existing field just like so. Then from the drop down menu, we're going to select name. And that is the only field that we want to include here. So now you'll select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, this field is now being created. 
select show output table and you can close this little window over to the right hand side and you can now see your results in the table and it is as simple as that so hopefully today you have learned how to connect an api with bearer token authentication in airtable using github's api and also the data fetcher extension but like i mentioned before we do have a blog on this exact topic on the datafetcher.com website where you can learn that way as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.